Welcome to HurtTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is the weekly garden walkabout or garden tour that I'm doing uh, this spring season. Just showing you everything as it wakes up in this landscape in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zone 7B. Uh, lots of projects underway for the season. I've pr already purchased a lot of things, a lot of things coming up from seed. This is really going to evolve a lot uh, over the course of the next three or four months, but I definitely want to shoot it today. So I got a little bit of a frost coming tonight and I'll have all these open tulips, which I don't think will be harmed, but I definitely wanted to shoot it before that happens. But this, this purple, yellow and white combo is just absolutely beautiful. And the pansies are really filling in after having kind of a tough winter. Uh, they're really starting to fill in. And the color, as you can see all around me, you know, it's just really, it's really coming to life now. More of these lilac wonder species tulips out here by the road. Again, I, the, there are many clusters planted around the landscape and those things just show off and they bloom for a long time and they should be reliable coming back. These bud light tulips probably won't be reliable coming back, but they are really, really beautiful. Hopefully uh, they stay unfazed uh, tonight and uh, will be fully open next week when you guys see this. Uh, the uh, dianthus out here had a tough winter as well, but it's finally starting to, uh, uh, to color up. New growth is on it. And so I think by next week it should be full, fully colored up out here as well. More of the tulips back here in the uh, background along the driveway edge that I haven't shown off yet. This nightlight camia cifrus continues to be a standout here in the landscape. It has this really beautiful gold foliage, which is actually quite a bit more gold uh, during the uh, growing season. This is kind of its l low color moment of the year, but as it starts to put on some new growth, I can shear this a bit and keep it, you know, about this size probably, but I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna let it get just a bit bigger and then again, late winter every year, shear it just a bit. Uh, next to it, I've got this Rose's Blush uh, native blueberry. You can see all the buds on it. They're still tight enough that I don't think any frost is going to hurt it. These are edible blueberries, but they're, they're small. And, and really, I have this planted out here for the birds and the beautiful uh, purple foliage and the beautiful flowers. One other daffodil that I haven't pointed out in these tours the last few weeks is this one called Avalanche. And it can have as many as 15 or 20 flowers on a single stem. Uh, these have about 10 in their first year in the ground. A couple of the containers with the violas on the front steps continue to look just amazing. Uh, those, those violas have been one of the standouts of the landscape. I've got some yellow ones in a container over here. We'll see in just a second. Uh, this maple is called Hong Long. You guys will learn all about this one coming up pretty soon. Um, actually going to uh, uh, have Mark Wethington in a video uh, upcoming. Uh, he, he actually knows a lot about this plant and you'll find out about it. It's going to be planted in the back line in the back uh, garden. It needs part shade. I'm so excited about that one. Going to protect it from this little bit of frost tonight because sometimes these ma maple foliage is sometimes sensitive to, uh, to frost. Uh, if we want to start moving around uh, this direction, I've got all kinds of crazy color going on, going on here. These sun uh, tulips are just out of this world. I mean, just, I mean, just, that's just shockingly beautiful, really. Um, that, that, that cluster of tulips, the, uh, daffodils, uh, the Tahiti daffodils continue to be a, uh, a big, big winner. I think you can see the yellow, uh, uh, the yellow violas in the uh, container with the little tree formed, uh, um, Japanese, uh, holly in it and more of them in this container as well. But again, I just love the way these violas perform in a container through the winter. Pansies are filling in, but it has been a, it's been a real struggle. Normally by now, I typically have my pansies are just plant to plant and totally full, but it was definitely a slightly tougher, slightly tougher winter on those. I showed one of these Tom Pouse daffodils last week. Uh, lots more have opened up uh, throughout the uh, landscape, but isn't that just beautiful? The uh, yellow with the uh, orange center or the orange Corolla is really, really striking. Here's some more of these lilac wonder species uh, tulips. Again, I plant, planted them all over the place and they're, they're so beautiful. Uh, more of those Tahiti daffodils and epimedium that I showed last week that wasn't blooming yet has started blooming. Tons of buds on it. It'll be a full flower here in another week or two and then the foliage will fill in and I'm hoping this will spread out into a bigger area here just like I'm kind of hoping with the uh, ajuga that's back here uh, using some of these uh, part shade ground cover items to cover some of this space uh, 
you know, and fill in and, uh, and I'll have to use a lot less mulch in the future. Although the camera struggles with purple a bit, this uh, woodland fo phlox is beautiful. And if you were here, you could see how it has this lilac purple uh, color. And that's a, uh, that's a native phlox there. And then uh, over here, I've got another group of these uh, Bud Light tulips that are just getting started. So again, next week, we'll see how beautiful these were. This was the best tulip that I grew. Uh, last year, and so n none of these have quite opened, but uh, should be next week. These Tang Dynasty tulips have opened up more since the uh, since I filmed last out here. The uh, orange pansies and the uh, Swiss chard is really jumping now. Uh, it's got this little uh, dwarf blue spruce in the middle of it, uh, but the, you know this stuff is really showing off uh, at this point. Again, another viola in a container. Uh, this looks great, and then stepping across to the uh, to the other side. I've got all the containers gathered over here because there's going to be a container planting video at some, at some, at some point. More of the orange pansies. Uh, again, Swiss chard uh, looking great. And uh, garlic continues to come on and you can see more of these uh, Tang Dynasty tulips. And we'll see a few more of them as we uh, swing around here. I have three Loripetalum that have started to bloom. This one's Carolina Midnight and it's it's got some height to it. It's going to get it's going to have a little uh, control applied to it uh, after it finishes uh, flowering here uh, this season. The ones that have opened up this 31 degree night tonight could potentially burn, but there's so many closed flowers on it that I think the rest of them uh, will be fine. You guys will see over the next couple of weeks, this thing becomes, this one's a really dark pink, almost red when it's in uh, full flower um, and uh, super, 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 super showy. Uh, got a lot of things that have to be protected um, temperatures dropping right now while I'm out here shooting this, but these are the things I've been acquiring, things that have been done from seed. Got another big group over there. I'll show you uh, to finish up the uh, of the video. Just to, I'm acquiring things because I don't know how much stuff will be available that I want later in the season. But all this stuff was done on the seed rack in the house, and there's lots more of it where that came from. This uh, Tang Dynasty uh, tulip is just you know out of this world. Uh, beautiful. They open completely during the day. Like the, the, the petals fold back almost entirely flat and then they close up like this as the uh, afternoons get cooler. I have a purple daydream loripetalum here. It hasn't actually opened a flower yet so I'm kind of happy about that. So those should be protected uh, overnight but this one will be in full flower next week as well as soon as it warms up. I cut these Carex back in a video and you can see lots of new growth coming on them uh, already. And this is um, Emerald Snow Laura Petalum, and I believe I talked about it last week because it was starting to bloom, but you can now see you know, how many flowers this thing is actually going to have. It will be just solid white in another week, as long as a few of them may get damaged tonight, but overall it shouldn't be that big of a deal, and it should be just fully bright white the next time you guys see the landscape. The blue and yellow pansies look great together. Again, they're smaller than uh, I would like for them to have been at this point, but I've got many more weeks with them so they should really be uh be fantastic in a couple more uh, warm weeks my snapdragons are a big almost fail this year they really took it hard uh this winter and uh, i'll get some flowers out of them but uh, they've just been leaves basically all winter long this variegated uh white daphne started blooming months ago down toward the bottom and worked its way up and then we had a 23 degree night that took out all the flowers in that section but the ones up here on the newest growth are still uh, opening up and this thing smells amazing. Uh, you know, Daphne in full bloom, there's pretty much nothing like it. Here we are toward the end of March and the herbs have really started to jump. Parsley's coming back strong, uh, sorrel is jumping there, um, even, even the sage is showing some uh, new growth on it. Uh, pretty, pretty much this entire section is uh, showing new growth and I've got dahlias coming back from last year uh, here and there. I, I have some that I jump started in a video a week ago, or I have them coming up. They'll be in the house tonight uh, for, this, for this cold weather. But the ones that are coming up out here will help me to know where I can plant the other ones. So I'm glad these have started to uh, pop out of the ground. Here's more stuff I have acquired uh, for planting uh, in, during the month of April. Just a ton of flowering things, some perennial, some annual, mostly annual in this section right here. but. Just an absolute ton of things that are happening in this landscape during the uh, 2022 spring season. Thank you guys for following along with these videos, and I'll be back next week. Um, I'm skipping over um, things in every one of these, so th there's, there's a ton of new things uh, for each of these videos. So.
Thanks for following along.